So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about blue grits. So why do I use blue grit? Well, one of the main reasons that I use it is because it makes my life a little bit easier. With PVA in, I always feel like you're chasing it. Whereas with blue grit, you put it on the day before or the night before and then you can just plaster straight on it straight away and you don't have to worry about the walls being tacky or not. When you're just PVA and skimming, one of the things that you can find is that your PVA dries out a bit too quickly. So when it dries out and it's not tacky, basically it's not actually gonna be sticking to the wall. So that's one of the main reasons why I like using blue grip. Um, it's just that little bit of extra control. So how do I apply blue grit? So I tend to do it with a flat brush. You can do it with a roller. I've done that a few times, but I find that I'm quite quick um, using a flat brush. So when you first open your blue grit, you wanna just give it a bit of a stir. So preparation is key when you're blue gritting. You will find with blue grit though, because there is lots of little flecks in it, that it will go everywhere. So before you actually start doing the blue gritting, make sure that your floor's covered. Blue grit can be a bit of a swine to get off and you wanna try and stop any of the flex getting into anywhere that you don't want it to. Basically, as soon as you've got your blue grit on, you wanna clean any areas that's got blue grit that you don't want it on. Um, blue grit can be a bit of a swine to get off. So, especially on your hands. So as soon as you've finished doing your blue gritting, you wanna wash your hands as quickly as possible and your skin as well, because it can be a bit of a pain to get off. One way around that is obviously to use gloves. Is I actually use the lid so that when I'm going up and down, I'm actually trying to collect it as I'm actually going along just to try and save a bit of cleaning. So do I think you should always use blue grit? No, you don't have to use blue grit. It's just something that I've found that's made my life a little bit more controllable. If I can blue grit all the walls, it means it's one process that I don't have to do before skimming. So I've been using blue grit now for a, quite a few years now, and I've found it a bit of a game changer. We always used to just PVA the walls and then skim, but when you're working on your own, I find that having the blue grit actually makes my life a lot easier. One of the main reasons why it makes my life easier is because before I actually start skimming, I'm not doing any chasing with the PVA. I used to find sometimes that with the PVA that it can actually dry out before using it. So you actually have to put an extra couple of coats of PVA to make sure that it's nice and tacky before you start. So I'm not saying no to PVA because PVA does work and it's tried and tested but I like to have the blue grit just to make my life that little bit easier. One of the other benefits of using blue grit is if you've got any background that's actually not got a lot of grip, or if you've got lots of different varied backgrounds, it can actually make your set a lot more smoother and, and a better transition because sometimes if you've got different backgrounds on a wall, what can happen is you can get suction in different areas. So. Let's say, for example, you've got sand cement, uh, bonding, and old plaster all on the same wall. If you put blue grit over it, so basically it would all just pull in at the same time so that you've not got any dry areas when you're actually gonna be putting the skim on. One of the good things with blue grit is that you can actually see where you're putting it on. Um, when you're using PVA, sometimes it's actually quite hard to tell where you've PVA'd and where you haven't. Whereas with blue grit, with the color inside of it, you can actually see exactly where you've gone. There are other types of products apart from Blue Grit that do do the same job. Um, I've used a couple of them and I've had no problems with them. Um, they all seem to work around about the same way. So if you are using a different one, it's still the same way that you apply it.
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I drop these videos every Tuesday. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.